Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just dropped hammer on ABC for firing Roseanne, makes big demand. President Trump has finally spoken out over ABC firing Roseanne, and he dropped a big ol' hammer neatly on ABC's outrage. Now it's Trump's turn to make a big demand. We all knew that President Trump had to have strong feelings about the cancellation of Roseanne's show after she went on a fiery tweet storm that immediately got her canned for racism against Valerie Jarrett. When Roseanne broke all the records on viewership after the reboot of her show, President Trump called to congratulate her. Her show was a monster success and had already been re-upped for another season. He thanked Roseanne for doing a show about us. He's, of course, was referring to the common man. I called her yesterday. Look at her ratings. Look at her ratings," Trump said in March while in Ohio to deliver a speech on infrastructure. I got a call from Mark Burnett, he did The Apprentice. He's a great guy. He said, Donald, I called just to say hello and to tell you did you see Roseanne's ratings? I said, how big were they? They were unbelievable. Over 18 million people. And it was about us. But after Barr's ambient fueled Twitter rant began Monday night, Trump was noticeably silent. No more. He finally spoke out Wednesday in a tweet. Bob Iger of ABC called Valerie Jarrett to let her know that ABC does not tolerate comments like those made by Roseanne Barr. Gee, he never called President Donald J. Trump to apologize for the horrible statements made and said about me on ABC. Maybe I just didn't get the call? He tweeted that at about 11.30 a.m. Wednesday. Trump made it a point not to bring up the issue during his Tuesday, Nashville, Tennessee, rally where he was campaigning for Marsha Blackburn. Plus he was too busy nailing Pelosi on MS-13, bashing Hillary Clinton and talking about filthy Jay-Z. This is the only president I have ever seen outside of Ronald Reagan that wears snarky sarcasm well. In fact, he bludgeoned ABC with it and it was magnificent. Of course, the media immediately accused Trump of making it all about himself. They missed the point entirely which was their selective censorship and how discriminatory they are. President Trump on Thursday contrasted the handling of the Roseanne debacle against the handling of ABC's Brian Ross, who was suspended for four weeks in 2017 without pay following a botched exclusive about former Trump national security adviser Michael Flynn. He has since returned to his job. ABC News did, however, apologize, just not to Trump directly. We deeply regret and apologize for the serious error we made yesterday, an ABC News statement read at the time. The reporting conveyed by Brian Ross during the special report had not been fully vetted through our editorial standards process. As a result of our continued reporting over the next several hours ultimately we determined the information was wrong and we corrected the mistake on air and online. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders also was blunt when asked about the matter and told the press pool that Trump is too focused on important issues to take time to comment on Barr. Look, as you know, the president has been extremely focused, she said before ticking off priorities including North Korea, the economy and rebuilding the military. That's what he's spending his time on, not responding to other things. But Sarah did go there yesterday. On Wednesday, Sanders provided a strong response to NBC News White House correspondent Kelly O'Donnell's attempt to tie actress Roseanne Barr to President Trump and raise questions about his response to her inflammatory tweet. As reported by Newsbusters, O'Donnell asked if the president had been in contact with Barr and about his reaction to the cancellation on Twitter. Has the president spoken to Roseanne Barr, as we know has been a longtime friend of his? She asked. And why did he choose to address the ABC policy instead of the underlying issue of concerns about a racist comment that she tweeted out? Sanders responded, he's simply pointing out the bias. The president is pointing to the hypocrisy in the media saying that the most horrible thing about this president and nobody addresses it. Where was the Bob Iger's apology to the White House staff for Jamel Hill calling the president and anyone associated with him a white supremacist? To Christians around the world for Joy Behar calling Christianity a mental illness? Where was the apology for Kathy Griffin going on a profane rant against the president on The View after a photo showed her holding the President Trump's decapitated head? And where was the apology from Bob Iger for ESPN hiring Keith Olbermann after his numerous expletive-laced tweets attacking the president as a Nazi and even expanding Olbermann's role after that attack against the president's family? This is a double standard that the president is talking about, she concluded. No one is defending her comments. They're inappropriate but that's the point he is making. It certainly is. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.